Hi, Ricky here. We met up to the masses, Heat 6, and I'm here with Spectral Dark Wave. How are you guys doing? Good, good. We are well. Excellent, <laughs> good stuff. I suppose let's take it back to the beginning. How did you form and where did you start as a band? Hmm. Um, well, we start, started, the, the first songs were about nine years old. Some of them we still play now. Um, basically, Dan was over in Japan and uh, I was in other bands, but we always promised that when he got back from Japan, that we would be doing the death metal that we heard kind of in computer games from when we were like oh, 10. Right. You know what I mean? When you just had Commodore 64s, and you were oh, like, oh, that would sound great with guitars, but obviously, didn't have guitars. But yeah, so dark shit like that. Oh, cool. Nice. Um, how long ago, um, how long ago did you fall? Oh, well, um, I suppose we've been gigging for like two and a bit years. Oh, two and a bit years, and I came back from Japan so yeah. four, four years ago, so yeah, got an arson gear. How would you describe your sound to someone who hasn't heard you before? Mm. Um, <laughs> well, we, we kind of say it's like sort of symphonic uh, death and doom. So there's some sort of fast and mid-paced sections, doomy stuff to smoke is lifted, and, uh, but at the same time like a bit of a big old palette as well, so we've got like our backing tracks and stuff that we take live, that we would have um, on the record with like EMP pulses and nuclear oh, nice. and stuff and kind of big madness. Yeah. But a um, quite variety for the ear. Well, the, that, that's the idea. The idea yeah. is that every one of the songs is like this different kind of story. Mm. And you hope with any luck, if you know what the deal is with the story, it sounds like what it looks like in my head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> the <laughs> idea is we're trying to make people go to the ear circus. Yeah. It's not like just guitars, guitars, guitars yeah. and yeah. anger. It's like, how they did that? Ooh. So, really uh, does yeah. sound like that's, uh, torture in Japan. <laughs> that's a great, um, great description of the ear circus. Right. Mm. So we're here Met to the Masses, P6. How did you hear about the competition and how did you get here today? Mm. You don't say about Carl or Bunker Yeah, <laughs> so yes, someone asked this. Uh, no, well, really, we, we've been to Bloodstock a few times uh, because it's, it's the best, most on genre uh, festival there is, really, in, in, in this country, um, in a way that other festivals aren't. So we kind of always knew that it would be something we'd, we'd want to, definitely a box we'd want to tick uh, with the band as we were doing our thing. So. Um, with the first album coming out in about two months' time, you're like, well, you want to raise the profile of that. It's now time to put your balls on the line and say, we're here, there's an album, and we can do play live. Well, let's cut these on to my next question of what materials you have and what you're working on. So you can elaborate on that if you like. <laughs> well, the, the album's finished. The, uh, yeah. we're, just, we're just doing all the press for that now at the moment. Um, last first contact. It's okay. horrible. Horrible big shit. Pretty good, yeah. Um, we <laughs> hope so. uh, you like. Anyway, so th th there's that, and then at the moment, uh, in fact, we're going to play one of our songs that actually isn't on that because we really like it um, tonight. But uh, again, it's that, that we've probably been playing most of the second album written already, uh, which is mm. good. Genre's a great catalyst for uh, music endeavour. Um, yeah, so we're, we're just really kind of excited to sort of get the stuff out there in front of metal people as opposed to one man and his dog. Yeah. Well, um, when would that be released? Do you have them, or that's going to be March the 30th, and that's going to be on all major platforms. There's going to be CDs on like, Amazon, Ooh, Amazon, pay taxes. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> yeah, but um, so you know, it's, it's going to be a proper release. Yeah. Um, what kind of influences do you guys have as performers and musicians, and where, where do you where do you draw from? To mm. I don't know. Why don't I not talk for a bit? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think uh, for, for me, I think something which has coloured us lately is the uh, Devon Townsend project. Because okay. that's big league all the time. Um, also, uh, definitely Opeth. Um, I, I like a bit of Porcupine Tree, some very high production values, things yeah. going on yeah, there. Yeah. It's all about the ear circus. I will like, like, like filth. You like um, filth. I, like, I like atmosphere and mood in music, so I quite like Doom. Um, Draconian, Opeth, as I mentioned. Um, also a fan of symphonic metal, Nightwish, that kind of thing. Mm. Folk metal. Ooh, you do a lot of everything. everything though, I do. Yeah. I do a lot of everything. Fingers I'm, in many pies. I'm right. in a like kind of thrash metal band as well. well thrash metal. I seem to be in this kind of thing where I'm in bands where they don't really have a genre. It's all. Yeah. We, we fucking do. Well, <laughs> we fucking do. We do, but it's kind of like we're not just that. We're gonna which sometimes doom, some. sometimes death, sometimes symphonic, sometimes synthetic. How have other people described your sound, or is that just well, you sound like it's this? It's always weird, isn't it? Because you, you think you know that, what yeah. you are, but yeah. you, are, you are what you fucking told you are. <laughs> yeah. um, so we've had kind of like muscular opeth, 
and then kind of Mastodon, Mastodon yeah. who I'm not really a big fan of. Yeah. Um, but I suppose maybe because of the kind of more simpler sort of middle pace riffs, I suppose I could sort of see that as well. And then Devin Townsend as well. I can't sing as good as him. Those are the three. That's what we go deaf vocals. Yeah. That's cool. Um, what kind of message would you want to give to people who haven't seen you before or maybe would want to kind of try to encourage them to say, hey, we're here. What, what message would you have for that? This is your platform. And, uh, platform. Right. <laughs> Just give me a minute. I'm just going to give me anything. <laughs> right, this is the message. Um, forgo all of your gods. Yeah, like basically just the idea of the, this band is to kind of give people's perspective, look at all the human horror through a lens of music and um, you know, come join us, come listen to something that is no one else I know does nuclear explosions in the choruses you know what I mean, as part of the choruses so um, I'm hoping that that's enough to sort of turn a few heads that's, uh, yeah, and do something, something to check out. Cool. Last time I checked, nobody sounds like us maybe I don't check enough, but nobody sounds like us as far as I know Yeah, that's not to say there aren't better players out there Oh yeah <laughs> they'll, they'll be faster dudes than us on that note, I'd like to say thank you very much. Thanks, sir. And best of luck tonight. And Cheers, Ricky. Let's be safe. Cheers, man. Thank you. See you later. We're out. Nice one. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Cool. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. Cheers, yeah, appreciate man. that. Thank you. Oh, it's stomping. It's a car. Stomping is a car. Anyway. So